Hey, what's up everybody? Coach James here, ready to take you guys through an awesome workout for Padres. Pedal the cause, coming to you guys from the Orange Theory Fitness in Point Loma. Now the challenge today, I'm gonna challenge each and every one of you to move your bodies today for someone that has battled cancer, is battling cancer, is still fighting the fight right now. We got this team, we're gonna be working hard together today. We're gonna sweat it out, Orange Theory style. Now we got lots to work with today, again about nine total blocks. Of course, we're gonna start with the warm up. we're gonna finish with a nice flexibility cool down. So we're gonna start moving your bodies right here, right now team. Let's start with a nice little march in place. You're starting to drive that knee up, pumping those arms, get nice and smooth, nice and relaxed. Throughout the workout, I'm gonna be moving with you. Again, it's all gonna be timed intervals, I'm gonna be moving with you, talking you through today's workout. So follow my lead, come on, let's get up, let's start moving together, everyone. Again, next warm up exercise, do some hip external, internal rotation, get those hips loosened up, you can lift that knee up and out, and up and out. We're gonna spend about 20 seconds here on one side. I'll let you know when we're gonna switch and go to the other side here. Give me a clock run about 10 more seconds here. And again, we are working today, coming out of the Point Loma Studio, Orange Theory Fitness, got 15 locations. If you love the workout today, make sure you jump in for a workout at one of the locations around San Diego soon. Go ahead and switch sides, open up the other hip, and really lift that leg up and out. He'll feel that hip flexor loosen up. Definitely gonna see some squats, some jumping around. So I wanna make sure those legs are ready to rock here, team. And final seconds. Next, we're gonna go into a Kazakh squat here. Let's get a nice wide stance. Going to transition right into it. Bend that outside knee. Keeping the eyes and chest up nice and tall. Rock to one side and you can switch. Rock to the other side. Sometimes even kinda like to bounce on one side here. You can get the inner thigh, outer hip, knee loosened up here. You can kinda get a little bounce and then switch. About 10 more seconds here before we move on to your next warm up exercise. Get nice and smooth, controlled. We're gonna start ramping up and taking it up a notch as we move through this warm up. So go and stand on up. Let's go jog in place now. Give me that march in place. But now we're starting to drive those knees a little bit more. Pump those arms with a little bit more power here. And bouncing on the balls of your feet. And 30 seconds here before we see some jumping jacks for 30. And we're progressively building throughout this warm up here. About 10 more seconds, team, before we get into those jumping jacks. Keep pumping those arms, lifting those knees up, staying nice and tall, nice proud chest here. And let's go jumping jacks, nice and wide, popping those feet out, hands go overhead. Try to touch the fingertips at the top here to really get those shoulders loosened up. Of course, if you need an option for that jump, you can always just step side to side here. We get those hands way up overhead, touching those fingertips up at the top. About 10 seconds left, let's keep it moving. Starting to feel that heart rate elevate here. And we talk a lot about heart rate at Orange Theory. Right now, we're starting to get into that green zone. That's about 71 to 83% percent of your max. So we're starting to feel challenging but doable. Base pace. We're going to dial it back just a notch. We're going to do a walk out. Hands come down to the ground. Walk it all the way out to plank position. Walk the hands all the way back in. Stand all the way back up at the top. We got 45 seconds here. You can walk it all the way down. Really strengthen at the bottom of that walk out. Squeeze those glutes. Come all the way back up nice and tall. Get those hips all the way back up underneath you. All the way down all the way back up. We got about 10 seconds left here. Again, squeeze those glutes to the bottom. Walk the hands in. Stand up tall, team, you're looking great. Let's keep it moving. We got one more warm up exercise. We got some high knees to really start to get that heart rate elevated. Really get you ready for this workout. Let's do one more good one here. Walk it all the way out, hands on the ground. Walk it all the way back in from here. We're going high knees, 30 seconds. Let's get a team driving those knees. Can we start with that march in place? Went to a jogging place. Now we're really pumping, really driving those knees and arms here. Getting that heart rate up, getting ready for your workout. Keeping the chin parallel. Eyes up nice and tall here. Almost there, team. We got 15, 15 seconds left. We're halfway through these high knees. In last couple reps, last couple reps. Let's see it all the way through. Have a quick recovery before we kick off block number one. And recover, bring it down, shake it out. Now that we are warm and ready to rock, we're gonna start jumping into block number one. We're gonna see some single leg hip bridges. So we will be coming down to the ground, basically kinda gonna be flipping back and forth, hopping up, lots of movement here. So be ready for a team. Let's come on down. We got 20 seconds on each leg with a single leg hip bridge. Let's go ahead and start on your left foot. So lay on your back here. Your knees are staying together. Drive your hip up. Let's do it together here in three, two, one. We got 20 seconds. 20 seconds, drive me through the heel, squeeze your glute, 
come all the way back down to center. Again, really getting that squeeze at the top, making sure your heel is right underneath your knee. Nice and steady, nice and smooth here. Again, when I count it down, we're gonna switch sides in three, two, one. Go ahead and switch sides, switch legs. Once again, driving through the heel, squeeze that glute top all the way back down, keeping the shoulders your head nice and relaxed, team. Starting to feel those glutes fire in. 10 seconds left. And again, the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna flip it right over. We got a bare plank shoulder tap coming your way. So go ahead and stand or flip on over here. We got 10 seconds to make that transition. So palms in the ground, knees right underneath your hips. And here we go. 30 seconds on the clock, tapping one shoulder at a time. Again, you're coming with me here, team. We're working hard, keeping those knees barely off the ground. Option, let those knees rest. But again, we're challenging to keep those knees up right underneath your hips, tapping one shoulder at a time. You got 15, 15 seconds left right here. Smooth, controlled movement. Not letting those hips wobble. Fight for it right here. Final seconds, we're about to hop up right here. In three, two, one, go ahead and hop on up, shake it out. We're gonna do a curtsy lunge and then a speed skater. And it's gonna be one minute of work. 40 seconds of curtsy lunge, 20 seconds of speed skaters here. We go right into a curtsy lunge. Bring that foot behind the other. Again, kind of turning those hips slightly, get that outer hip, outer glute fire and option. A little bit less range of motion. Again, you have 40 seconds here and then we're gonna explode with some speed skaters. Once again, we're gonna get that heart rate elevated with that next exercise. And really bend that knee, getting nice and low in that curtsy lunge here. Keeping that foot nice and steady. From here, we're gonna go right into the speed skater for 20 seconds here. We go, speed skater exploding side to side. Bend that outside knee, then really driving through that outside foot, trying to get that big jump side to side. Remember that option, is you can step and tap, step and tap. Let's take that challenge, just keep working hard right here. Boom, explode through that outside foot. You got a recovery coming up. Final seconds right here. We're gonna recover in three, two, one, recover. Just about 15 seconds to catch your breath. I think that's something that, uh, you know, Tatis does right there, you know? Yeah, he's getting ready to get those uh, catches as uh, short stuff there. So again, that explosive side to side moves. You're basically gonna be Tatis after doing this workout today. Here we go. We're gonna start back up down on the ground with that single leg hip bridge. Plant that foot, knees close, drive it up. Or actually, excuse me, this time we're gonna go 40 seconds, both feet on the ground. Three, two, one, drive it up. Again, both feet are planted here. Instead of doing the single leg, we're just doing a normal hip bridge, really squeezing those glutes, even hold it, and then bring it all the way back down. Again, drive it up, squeeze, slow and controlled. Again, we're seeing two full rounds right here. We're in round number two now. Starting off that hip bridge, so you know it's coming. Bare plank shoulder tap. We got the curtsy lunge, and we got that speed skater. One final time, final seconds. Right here, you got about 10 more. You can really get that big squeeze at the top and then slowly lower back down until the head rest. Almost an opportunity to kind of catch your breath after those speed skaters here as you're laying on the ground, just focusing on that muscle activation. All right, team, we're about to flip it over. Go ahead, come up. You can even kind of shake those legs out real quick. Flip it on over. We're gonna go right into the bare plank shoulder tap right here, 30 seconds on the clock, keep moving with me team. Again, tapping that shoulder, keeping the hips nice and stable. The nice thing about this workout is we're always gonna see multiple rounds. So you get to kind of test out that exercise. Maybe it's a new exercise for you. I mean, you're really trying to learn that movement and then the second, the third opportunity, the second or third round, you really get to dial that movement in, really get to challenge it here. Again, if your knees were on the ground for the last one, I challenge you to lift your knees up for the final seconds right here. We got 10 more, we got 10 more to work. Nice and smooth, nice and smooth here, team. And recover, stand on up. And once again, woo, shake out those arms, those shoulders probably burning after that work. Not too much time to waste. We're going right into the curtsy lunge, followed by that speed skater. Three, two, one, a curtsy lunge. We got 40 seconds, 40 seconds right here. Keeping that chest proud, keeping the eyes up, really bending that knee, getting low in that lunge, going side to side, driving through that heel. Again, keep the knee right in line with your toes as well. You don't want that knee shooting out on you here. Nice and smooth, getting prepped and ready for that speed skater. 
Got about 10 more, about 15 more seconds here, team. Really get low, maybe try to sink a little bit lower in your next couple reps, in your final reps. The last time you're gonna see the curtsy lunge today. And again, we got the speed skater coming up, or I'm just gonna rename it like the Tati's training exercise right here. Again, we're gonna explode side to side, getting ready to get in front of that ball at shortstop. Here we go, three, two, one, 30 seconds to finish up block number one, exploding side to side, driving through that outside foot. Remember, option, step, tap, step, tap, and keep your body moving. Whatever you do today, if you need to take that option, just keep your body moving. Stay active together, team, 15 seconds. 15 seconds left right here. Final reps, final reps, be explosive. Do something right here, your future self will be proud of. And we bring it down, nice team. Woo. Give yourself a little round of applause, pat on the back, block one. Block one is down, you guys are killing it. We got six more to go, again, seven total working blocks today. We got no time to waste. We're gonna go right into block number two. We're gonna start with some pop squats. We're gonna go to the right for 20 seconds. We're gonna go to the left for 20 seconds. And then we're gonna do some power sit-ups. And if you can see, oh yeah, already starting to get sweaty over here. I know you guys are getting sweaty at home as well. And here we go. Let's kick it off, gonna pop squat here. Come on with me, team. 20 seconds on the clock in three, two, one. Squat, pop to the side, back to center. Squat, pop, back to center. Again, we're just gonna go to the right side. Option squat, walk it open, walk it back to center there. But trying to get those hips, get the feet all the way through, get that big rotation. And final seconds, we'll take a short break and then you're gonna get right into the other side. So break, shake it out, shake it out. And then we're gonna go to the left side now. We're switching it up another 20 seconds on the clock. Three, two, one, 20 seconds to the left side here. Popping those hips all the way through. Bam, there we go, team. Feet, hips, all the way to the side. Keeping those knees nice and stable. We got 10 seconds, 10 seconds left, team. Quick recovery just around the corner. And get those feet through, bam, back to center, bam, back to center, and recover. All right, coming all the way down. So you're gonna lay flat on the ground. We're gonna explode up here. We got 30 seconds on the clock. Three, two, one, explode up, reach into those heels, open it all the way back up. And only three exercises here. We're gonna do three full rounds. Let's finish up round number one strong. An option here is to crunch it up. You can still keep the lower back flat here, but that challenge coming all the way up, on the tailbone, even give you that quick side view so you can see that movement from the side. Again, back comes all the way up on the tailbone, reaching towards those heels. Chest is proud, shoulders are back, and the core is burning. Those abs are burning, and recover. Woo, got about 15 seconds. Take a big deep breath, big inhale, and exhale. We got this team. That was one round done, we got two more to go. We're gonna start by going to the right side here. Three, two, one, 20 seconds on the clock with that pop squat here. Starting to sweat here. I can feel it starting to drip down my forehead. We getting sweaty today, team. And again, hips come all the way through. Big power at the top. Final seconds, and everything's quick today. To the left side, here we go. Three, two, one, left side now, team. Pop in those hips, popping those feet all the way through. And again, whatever you do, just keep moving. Don't stop, even if you're taking that option, we are still moving and grooving, working together, burning together for a cause today. It's not just for you today, we are burning for our loved ones, for our family, our friends who may be fighting or are continuing to fight, team who have fought before. Go ahead and recover. All right, power sit up, coming on down. Lay flat, arms and legs extended. Power sit up for 30 seconds. Three, two, one, and power it up. Bring those knees into your chest. Get the back off the ground all the way up here, team. Hug those knees at the top. Reach in all the way to those heels. 15, 15 seconds left here, so plenty of time to work. And then again, one more round. Again, this is number two. We got one more round after this coming up. Explode, slow, here we go. And recover, nice team. Again, quick break, we got one final set. One final set here. We're gonna get to work with that pop squat first, going to the right side. Here we go, 20 seconds on the clock. Three, two, one, pop squat. The last time you're gonna see it here to the right 
side, getting the hips, getting the feet all the way through here. Bouncy on the balls of your feet. Woo, all the sweat. So the floodgates have opened with the sweating today, team. I know you guys are getting sweaty where you guys are at as well. So the tough one is gonna be tough, but guess what? You are tougher. We're gonna make it through together here. Recover, relax. All right, 10 seconds. Catch your breath. Shake it out, but no time to waste. Back at it, three, two, one. A pop squat to the left side, hips, feet, all the way through. We got this team again. Last time you're gonna see this pop squat today. 10 seconds. Woo. I can feel that heart rate raising up, even for me. Getting up there, starting to find those splat points, that orange zone, that coveted orange zone we talk about here at Orange Theory. And recover. Oh my goodness, all right, come on. 30 seconds of work. Let's finish up this block strong. Three, two, one, a power sit up. 30 seconds, 30 seconds to finish up this block. Driving those knees in, pulling them into your chest, reaching towards those heels. And nice and slow and controlled power on the way, but control on the way back down. Every rep matters. We got 10 seconds, 10 seconds, team. We're all in this together right here. And we bring it down. Way to fight for that last rep right there. Block number two. Got that final rep in. Now we're on block number three. Block number three. This one's gonna be a good core blast right here. We're gonna be flipping back and forth. So be ready for that. Kind of like a plank on your back. Plank on your back. We're gonna start with the atomic mountain climber. So come on down, plank position. Let me get that clock set. We're going for 20 seconds of each of these exercises. Atomic mountain climber to kick it off. Three, two, one, bringing the knee across your body, keeping the hips nice and low, get that squeeze at the top. We'll have a quick transition in 10 seconds to flip over. We got a bicycle coming up next. Can your option slow these movements down, but don't stop moving, don't stop moving. Here we go, going and flip it over. Again, we got the bicycle right here, coming down right into it, opposite elbow, opposite knee, bringing that elbow across your body. We're gonna squeeze at the top and then switch. Again, 20 seconds, 20 seconds right here. Keeping those shoulder blades lifted to really hold that crunch nice and steady. And again, we're gonna flip back over to your plank position in 10 seconds. 10 left right here. Slow that movement down, extend that leg nice and long here. Feel those lower abdominals fire and team. We're all in this together, we're all working hard together. Go ahead, flip it back over. We're gonna go plank, hip, dip. I'll tell you when that clock starts, here we go. Three, two, one. Hip, dip, side to side. Again, these workouts are tough. These are the at-home workouts, the Orange Theory Live workouts we do here. And you can access these workouts from anywhere, team. And Orange Theory has gone live. So these workouts, this style, and you can get these from the comfort of your home. And they're quick, they're fast, they go by quick because all the intervals are so short. Let's stay active, let's stay focused here. Last couple and recover, but flip it over. Again, no time to waste. We're going static crunch scissors. Again, flip it over. Legs are straight, scissor those legs slow and controlled. And I always say the golden rule here, remember, do not run with scissors. I can usually tell who got like held back in kindergarten, you know, they're going fast with their scissors here. Slow and controlled, slow and controlled that movement. Keeping the legs nice and straight. Make your kindergarten teacher proud by slowing those legs down. Final seconds here. And then we're gonna go right into a hold. Here we go, three, two, one. Sit up tall, boat hold, boat hold. I know those abs are burning. Keep those legs lifted. Of course, your option is to let those heels touch here, but stay tall, stay tall. 20 seconds, 20 seconds left right here. Oh yeah, we're gonna enjoy that burn. We're gonna live in it. Getting uncomfortable, living in it, enjoying it. 10 seconds. Get those shoulders back, shoulders back. Almost there, team, final. Seconds, final seconds. Three, two, one. Rest, relax. But you know we're gonna do that again. We can't just do it once, that's no fun. We gotta do it two more, or excuse me, one more time. We're doing two full rounds. So we're gonna start back up with the Atomic Mountain Climber. Let's go and flip on back over. Give you another second to kind of shake it out. But here we go. We're right into it, Atomic Mountain Climber. Three, two, one. Bringing the knee across your body, opposite knee. Opposite elbow, you're gonna get that squeeze at the top. Feeling those obliques, getting those side ab muscles here. Those are firing to bring that knee across. 10 seconds, just 10 seconds left right here. Gonna short, it's sweet. We're in it together, crushing it together here, team. 
Come on, pedal the cars, we in it. And go ahead, flip it over. You got about 10 seconds to make that transition. We got bicycle. Had to throw some bicycles in there. Just pedal the cars, right? Here we go. Bicycle for 20 seconds. Elbow across your body. And no, the terrible jokes don't stop coming. You're gonna, you're gonna keep hearing them, team. You're here for it. Again, bringing the elbow across your body. Got some more like Padre stuff in there too. Just you wait, just you wait. Got some Annie Machado is stuff coming your way. Some more Tatis action. Oh, you already know. Final seconds, final seconds. Bring that elbow across and recover. Flip it back over. Plank, hip dip, plank, hip dip. And here we go. There it is. Plank, hip dip, staying low on the forearms. On the elbows, rocking those hips side to side. Nice and steady. Nice and stable, even as you're rocking. Keeping the back nice and flat, nice and smooth here. 10 seconds. 10 seconds left, everyone. Breathing through it, breathing through it. Don't forget, don't hold your breath here. Breathe through it and recover. But of course, flipping it right back over. Static crunch scissors and that bolt hold. The awesome back to back, there we go. Into it, 20 seconds. 20 seconds here. And we're gonna go 30 seconds with that boat hold. Get slow, controlled, shoulder blades are lifted. Holding those abdominals tight here. Final seconds, final seconds. And here we go, right into a boat hold. Three, two, one, coming up nice and tall. Get that position and then hold it, hold it tight. Shoulders back, lifting your chest out of your hips. There we go, team. Yeah, you can even see I'm shaking a little bit here. We are feeling it. Again, I'm in it with you guys. We're all working hard here. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. You got this pedal to cause. Hold on to it. Final seconds, final seconds. Yes, you can. Don't stop. And recover. There it is. Block three. Block three. Once again, give yourself a little pat in the back. We are crushing it today. We got number four coming up. Again, block number four. Oh, this is one of my favorites because we're going to start off with my favorite exercise. This is probably one of the longest blocks of the day right here. We're going to call this a cardio block. We're going to be jumping up and down, doing some fun exercise, some jogging places, some high knees, all sorts of crazy stuff. But we're going to start with my favorite. We got burpees right out the gate. 40 seconds of burpees. Don't worry, you have another recovery on the other side here. Let's get started. Full burpees with that push up. Come on, pedal cause. Three, two, one. Full burpees, push up, jump it up, jump at the top. You have 40 seconds, 40 seconds right here. Starting off that block strong. Remember your option, you can drop to your knees for the push up, walk it forward and get a calf raise. But definitely challenge you to take on that challenge. Full push up, big jump here. Let's see what you got. There we go, we got 20 seconds. Right at that halfway marker team, 20 down. 20 to go. And full push up, bringing that chest all the way down to the ground before you jump, explode at the top. Getting those hips underneath you before you get that jump here. Final seconds, let's get one more good one. There, it is nice, whoo. Got all those burpees in, I'm gonna give you 20 seconds right here. Give myself 20 seconds to catch my breath. And then we're gonna go into some static jump lunges. Again, the next series, you're gonna be doing some jogging places in between, so about 10 seconds. And we're gonna start off Left foot forward, right leg back with a static lunge. Here we go, three, two, one. A static lunge with a jump. Trying to drive through that front foot, trying to get that foot lifted up off the ground. You're gonna feel that front leg, that front quad burning right here. The back foot is planted. That back knee comes close to the ground, but then drive, explode through that front foot. And we're gonna go into a jog in place, jog in place. We're staying active the rest of the block. Your recoveries or a jog in place. But we're off the switch legs. Three, two, one. Other side, right leg forward, driving through that front foot heel. That static lunge jump. You can jump, explode through that front foot. Another jog in place coming up. 10 seconds, 10 seconds left here. And hold on to a final reps, chest proud. Shoulders back, eyes up. And jog in place, jog in place, still moving. And this is more of a base pace right here. Challenging, but do will not high knees, not all out, not push, it's nice and smooth, nice and easy jog in place. Coming up next, we're gonna go into some squat jacks, jog in place, then we're gonna see those high knees. So progressively building right here. So we're going squat jacks, three, two, one. A squat jacks, 20 seconds. Now this is gonna feel more like a push pace set, but we're building 
towards that big all out, towards those high knees. Again, squat, feet in, feet back out. Jack those feet in, bring your right back out. And we're gonna go back to jog in place. Three, two, one, jog in place. Man, I forgot when I designed this how hard it is. I'm gonna have to do it too. Going through the pain with you guys today. And again, we got high knees. Here we go, three, two, one. Now we're exploding, driving all out, empty the tank as we like to say it towards the air. You're driving those knees all the way up, pumping those arms, finish up strong. We got 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Come on team. Again, pump, 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 all the way through that finish line. And recover. Whew. That was tough, that was tough, but you did it. We got that first block, that first round done, of course. We're gonna rinse and repeat. We're gonna do it all over again, but you can take some time right here. Catch your breath, give you about 15 more seconds to catch your breath. Take a big inhale. And exhale. All right, team. That's just gonna make you much better, stronger. That recovery, just as important as the work. Here we go. No time to waste. You know it's coming. Everyone's favorite, burpees for 40 seconds. Three, two, one. Burpees for 40 seconds. Full push up, full jump at the top. Keeping the back flat, keeping the hips nice and stable here. Really stabilizing your core through this movement. And remember, even if you're taking the option, you're still moving, you're still moving. We're halfway there, 20 seconds down, 20 seconds to go. Okay, and then option would be to walk through it, drop to your knees, but as long as you are moving. We got 10 seconds, let's look for two more, at least two more here. Maybe even sneak in a third. There we go, come on, one more. One more team, all together, all the way down, all the way up, and recover. Burr. Woo, 20 seconds. He doesn't love some good burpees. That was your last set though. Last set of burpees today. Killing it team. And recover, relax. Got about 10 more seconds. And then we're gonna see that same sequence where you're going lunge, jog in place, lunge, jog in place, some squat jacks, some high knees. So left foot forward, right leg back, static lunge hop. Three, two, one. Right into it, 20 seconds. 20 seconds on that left leg, that left foot exploding through that front foot here. Again, eyes up, chest proud. You can always put your hands on your hips if you need some help with stability. And we're gonna go ahead, jog in place, jog in place. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Then we're gonna switch legs. We're gonna switch sides. Here we go, three, two, one. Other leg, other side, static lunge, jump. Exploding through that front foot here. And shoulders tall, shoulders tall. Lifting up out of your hips. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Woo, that quad is burning. Round one didn't feel so bad, but holy moly, round two, we feeling it. And bring it down into jog in place, jog in place. Don't want those lunges though, that's the good news. Jog in place, we got squat jacks, jog in place, high knees to finish it up. Here we go, going squat jacks. Three, two, one, squat jacks, 30 seconds. Spend 30 seconds here, 10 seconds of a jog in place. 30 second high knees on deck. Oh, it's halfway there. 15 down, 15 to go. Almost there, almost there. Drop those hips low. Keep those feet nice and wide as you squat. And we're going into that jog in place. Little base pace here, little base pace. Heart rate might settle back down just a little bit. And then we're bringing it right back up for high knees. Here we go, high knees team, 30 seconds. 30 seconds right here, driving those knees, pumping those arms. Let's finish up this block strong. We're all in it together. Woo, 10 seconds left, 10 seconds left. See if you can drive those knees, but with a little bit more power, a little bit more explosive. And we bring it down. Oh my goodness. Not gonna lie, that was a crazy one. That was a crazy one, team. I'm feeling that one. That was a good one. We got four down, though. No, that's the good news. We got four down. Three more to go. We're gonna kick it off with block number five. We're gonna keep it simple right here. We got a lateral walk, we got a squat, and then we're gonna see a plank jack. So again, less craziness going on here, less movement. We're gonna execute really well here. We're gonna start off first. Iso squat. You're gonna drop it nice and low. We're gonna take three steps out, three steps back. We got 20 seconds on the clock. Three, two, one. Three steps out. Three steps back, staying nice and low in that squat. And you might be saying, I don't feel this one too much right now, coach. Oh, just you wait till we get that second, that third round. 
Yeah, we're gonna go right into squats after this, just normal body weight squats, keeping those legs burning. Here we go, three, two, one. Normal body weight squats, you have 30 seconds. 30 seconds here, after this we'll transition down to the ground for some plank chest, and that's it. Seems simple, right? But after three rounds, oh, it's gonna be burning, and we're gonna add a little bit to your squats every round as well. Right now we're doing normal body weight, we're gonna add some calf raises, and then we're gonna add some jumps to it. Come in up, 10 seconds, 10 seconds left. And you stand nice and proud, nice and tall. Hips are gonna shift back, all the way back up. And we're gonna have some transition time. Come on down, meet me on the floor. We got a plank jack, elbows and forms on the ground. Feet together, jack the feet wide. Three, two, one. Jack those feet wide, keeping the hips stable. Not letting them bobble up and down too much here. Keep it nice and smooth, nice and stable option. Walk it out. Walk it in as long as you're moving. You know the going as long as you're moving. I'm happy, 10 seconds left, 10 seconds left. Almost there team, keep those feet bouncing. And we recover, nice, all right. Round one, round one of three. And we got two more of those. You know how we're gonna start it. Right back up with a lateral walk. Here it is, three, two, one. 20 seconds, 20 seconds on the clock. Three steps out, three steps back. And now those quads might be burning a little bit more here. The sweat is still pouring. <laughs> you guys better have a towel or something close by, right? I'm thinking so. They have been a little more prepared than me here. In final seconds, and we're going into a squat to a calf raise. Three, two, one. A squat to calf raise. So now you're raising up on those toes, getting those calves burning, the back of your legs burning here. Who doesn't love some good calves, right? 15 seconds, 15 seconds left. And then once again, you got the plank jack coming up after this. Nice and smooth, really get that big reach at the top. Next block, all we're gonna do, same exercise, we're gonna add a jump squat. So again, we're building. A couple seconds, here it is. 30 seconds on the clock, jacking those feet in and out here. Again, keeping the hips stable. Glutes are squeezed, hips are nice and engaged here. Belly button tucked in. We got 15, 15 seconds left everyone, halfway through. Nice and smooth, nice and smooth, you got this. Keep fighting for every rep and they all matter. Trying not to take that break, the break is just around the corner there. It is, recover, stand back up. Once again, lateral walk, jump squat, final set of plank jacks. Let's stop talking about it. Let's be about it. Here we go. Three, two, one. Lateral walk, lateral walk. Three steps out, three steps back. Nice and smooth, nice and controlled here. Staying low, and again, now, whoo, those quads are burning, those glutes are burning, but we're staying low, fighting the urge to come up. And that little voice in the back of your head might be saying, just, just stand up a little bit taller, but we're gonna stay low. We're gonna stay low, and it's not just about us today. And we are here for a reason, pedal. We are working for someone that's fighting hard. You gotta fight for them right here, right now. Here we go, jump squat, three, two, one. Load, explode, load, explode up. The toughest pairing of this block. We're in it right now, we're getting it done right here. Here those hands, way up overhead, exploding towards the ceiling. Final seconds, we got 10, we got 10 to go. How many more reps are you gonna get in right here? Ooh, big jump. And we bring it down. Last one, coming down, plank jacks. Right into it, 30 seconds with that plank jack. Bringing the feet out nice and wide. Keep the hips low, keep the body moving here. Almost there, almost there team, come on. Digging a little bit deeper, asking for just a little bit more out of yourself today. We got 10 seconds, we got 10 seconds. Almost there, last couple, last couple. And we recover, nice team. Oh my goodness, another one down. Grab that quick sip of water, you got about 15 more seconds here before we jump into block six. Now, the good news, we get to lay down, not to take a nap, and we're gonna be doing some core exercise. So meet me down on the ground. We're gonna lay flat, we're gonna do a leg raise, a toe reach, and then a heel touch. We're gonna see all those exercises back to back to back, you'll get a recovery. We're gonna rinse and repeat, three rounds. Three rounds here, let's start off first with that leg raise. We got 20 seconds, three, two, one. Lower the legs down, raise it right back up. Most important thing here, keep your back 
flat. Keep that back planted. You don't want it to arch. As soon as your back starts to arch, you're losing all of that core activation. You want to keep the belly button tucked in. Keep the transverse abdominus, the deep tissue muscles tight. Engaged here. 10, or excuse me, we're going right into the toe reach. Legs are up. Reach toward your toes. 20 seconds here. Getting the shoulder blades lifted up off the ground. Reaching towards those toes. Legs are nice and straight. 10 seconds. 10 seconds left right here. The last one will be for 30 seconds. We're going to see some heel touches to finish up round one of three. Here we go. Bring those feet down. Heel touches. Shoulder blades up. Rocking side to side. And again, feel those obliques working here. Challenge is to walk those feet a little bit further away. Challenge. Walk the feet closer. And again, you want to make sure you're not chin is not on your chest here. You want to be able to fit an orange between your chin and your chest. Yeah, you see what I did there? An orange between your chin and chest. You got to throw that in there, right? <laughs> Final repetitions right here. You get a recovery in three, two, one. Recover team. Oh man, just 15 seconds here. You might as well just stay down. Oh, now you can take a little nap just for 10 seconds. 10 second nap, right? He doesn't love a good 10 second nap. And here we go. Right back at it. Leg raise. Three, two, one. Leg raise. Back on. Round number two. Lower it down. Right back up. You can let your head rest. It feels more comfortable. Some people enjoy bringing the shoulder blades up. It helps keep the lower back nice and flat. Whatever feels most comfortable for you. I'm here to help you through it, but you know your body better than anyone. And we're going to go right into toe reaches. 20 seconds. Legs are straight. Toes are flexed. Reach it up as high as you can. Slowly bring it back down. You want your head to tap the ground in between each repetition here. Again, all the way back down. Reach it all the way up. Back down. Big reach here. You should feel a little bit more of your upper abdominals firing. And here we go. Back to those obliques. Heel touches. Shoulder blades are lifted so the core is still absolutely burning. Eyes are looking straight up. Chin is off your chest. Just getting that rock side to side. We got 10 seconds. We got 10 seconds left right here. Get another recovery, another little 15 second nap, and then one final round. One final round coming up. And we bring it down. Way to fight for every rep though. Whew. Okay, breathe. Relax in one final round there, team. We're in this together. This is your final core blast, and we got some cardio to finish it up. But here we go. Leg raise, legs are up. Lower down. Three, two, one. Lower those legs down. Raise it back up. You got 20 seconds. 20 seconds right here. Nice, slow, and controlled. Don't rush through it. Again, you're on a timer. The faster you go, definitely not the better here. Again, going faster isn't going to get you through it any better. Again, slow controlled movements, more core activation, better for you. And there it is, toe reaches, legs up, reaching for those toes, shoulder blades getting lifted, again, head comes down, reach it all the way up, get that little rest in between each rep, the way everything's coming back to center before you reach it all the way back up. 10 seconds, 10 seconds right here. And we are gonna finish up with those heel touches, feet on the ground, side, to side, side to side. Lift those shoulder blades up a little bit taller. Push that chin out a little bit ahead of you here. You're not on your chest. Up, Nice and tall, up nice and tall, side to side. Woo, feeling those obliques burning. Feeling those core muscles firing. 10 seconds, 10 seconds left right here. And finishing up this block strong. Three, two, one. Bring it down. Woo. Oh, feeling right there, right? Oh yeah, those abs. Now we all got a six pack, right? Yeah, if you're working out with someone today, just show them your six pack will be like, yeah, I earned that right there. And again, break, recover. We have one block. We made it, team. We made it to the final block of the day. And talk about cardio. We're gonna finish up with that. And that's what we do at Orange Theory. We get those heart rates elevated. We earn those flat points. We trigger that afterburn. And we're gonna do that right here in this final block. We're definitely gonna earn some splat points. Get that orange zone. 84% or above or higher of your max heart rate here. Let's get started with a foot exchange and then an agility shuffle. So again, foot exchange, agility shuffle, you're gonna take a break and then we're gonna go jumping jacks, broad jump to shuffle. And we're gonna see three rounds, three rounds of that, but then it's over and then we're done. Let's get started with that foot exchange. One foot forward, one foot back. We got 20 seconds on the clock. Three, two, one. Popping those feet back and forth right here again. 20 seconds, 20 seconds. 
We've got the agility shuffle, get another attack key, move over to go inside to side, protecting that shortstop, that second base, the third base position here. You keep working, put a chain, pop it back and forth. Get ready for that quick agility shuffle. We're gonna explode side to side. Here we go, three, two, one. Agility shuffle, take about three steps out, three steps back, we're going quick. You're going back and put that mitt down. That ball's coming. You got to put that mitt down on each side right here. Protect the house. Protect Petco Park. Come on. Don't let that ball go by you. Final seconds. Final seconds here. We got the recovery coming up. We will bring it down. Nice team. All right. A little recovery. And then we're going again. Jumping jack. Broad jump to shuffle. 20 seconds of jumping jack. 30 seconds of that broad jump to shuffle, about five more seconds. Shake it out, and here we go. Jumping jack, we got this. Three, two, one. Jumping jack, 20 seconds, 20 seconds right here, and then broad jump to shuffle for 30. And that heart rate's coming up. We're working hard, team. You get a big recovery in between each round. You're gonna have about 30 seconds to catch your breath in between each round, so be ready for that. Don't hold back, here we go. Broad jump to shuffle, three, two, one, explode forward, land softly, shuffle back, load, explode, land softly, shuffle it back, 30 seconds right here, 30 seconds right here, jumping forward, trying to slide into home plate here, team, and 15 seconds, 15 seconds, explode, land, shuffle it back, here we go, final one, final one, one more big one, jumping off those shoes, land softly, shuffle back, and Recover, you got 30 seconds. 30 seconds to catch your breath. Whew. When I was designing the workout, I was like, I gotta throw some, you know, sports lingo. I'm a big sports guy, not just, you know, talking out of my booty here. Again, definitely know some good sports stuff. Love, would love to bring those uh, sports analogies for you Padres fans out there. And here we go, starting right back up. We got that foot exchange. Right back into it, three, two, one. 20 seconds here, popping those feet back and forth. And we got that agility shuffle, that short stop position, rowing side to side, coming up next. And you might be starting to feel a little bit uncomfortable. Right, we're at, getting a little bit away from that, that's okay. That's how we're supposed to feel, and we gotta get a little uncomfortable to grow, to get stronger. And we're going agility shuffle, side to side, exploding, sit outside foot. We're trying to protect that gap right here. Get down low, make sure that mint touches the ground. That ball doesn't be going underneath you. Look at my top tees out here, come on team. You got 15 seconds, 15 seconds left. A couple more, a couple more, a couple more. Quick, quick, quick. Quick, quick, quick. That ball's coming fast. And recover. Just 10 seconds here for jumping jack. Broad jump to shuffle. We're so close. We're about halfway. And that's about the halfway marker right there. Through this final block. And here it is. Back at it. Jumping jack. Three, two, one. And jumping jack. Hands all the way overhead. Feet go nice and wide. 20. Seconds, 20 seconds here. Woo, I feel my heart rate starting to raise up here. I know I'm starting to get up in that orange zone. Get that heart rate elevated, feeling it team, getting uncomfortable. We love getting uncomfortable here, because that is where we grow. That is where we get stronger. And here we go, get uncomfortable even more with a broad jump to shuffle. Three, two, one, explode forward, land softly, shuffle back. You can make sure you're keeping those knees bent, land as softly as possible for you hustle those feet back quick. You gotta retreat back to that position. It's like you're trying to steal a base and then, oh, gotta go back, gotta go back. You got 15 seconds left, 15 seconds left. Big shuffle, big shuffle, big explode. Shuffle, shuffle. 10 seconds, almost there, almost there, team. One more big one, explode, land softly, shuffle, and whoo, recover. Hit a full recovery, 30 seconds here. One final round, one final round. We got this, fellow cause, we made it here. And we're fighting through this final block. 15 seconds. Take a big breath. Big inhale. Exhale, let that heart rate settle back down. Just a little bit here before your final set, your final round. Oh, here we go. This is the last one. We love it, we're having fun. Let's get it. Foot exchange, three, two, one foot 
exchange, 20 seconds. This is it, team. This is where we turn it up. Get digging a little bit deeper. You're not just working for you today. You're working for all those out there fighting for cancer, fighting the good fight. We're gonna get through it together. Final second, final second. And we're going into agility shuffle. Three, two, one, agility shuffle. Explode side to side here. Keep those feet moving quick, as quick as you can, as quick as you can move those feet. That's what we're looking for here. Keeping the chest proud, keeping the shoulders back. We're reaching that mitt down all the way to the ground to stop that line drive. That ball is trying to get by you. you Got to get over it, get under it. 15 seconds, 15 seconds. And it's the last time you're gonna see this agility shuffle today. Woo! What is still pouring? It's gonna be a mess over here. Gotta get a mop after this workout. And we recover. Bring it down to 10 seconds. And then our final set, our final set team. You know what's coming. Jumping jacks, broad jump to shuffle. Back to back, here we go. Three, two, one. And jumping jacks, final 50 seconds. Final 50 seconds of the workout. And hands going all the way overhead. Touch those fingertips. Touch those fingertips at the top. Woo! Oh, I know I'm feeling I know you guys at home are feeling it too. But we almost made it, team. We almost made it. Every last little bit of energy. We're going to go all out right here. We love all outs. Everything you got. Empty the tank effort with that broad jump to shuffle. Three, two, one. Explode for it. Land softly. Shuffle it back in all out effort. I'm bringing my best right here. Expecting that out of you guys, team. For your best effort. We saved it for last. Last. 10 or 15 seconds right here. Final 15. Shuffle, shuffle, explode. Shuffle, shuffle. And we are bringing it down. One more big one in three, two, one. Bring it down. Woo. Holy moly. That was awesome, team. We got it done. Giving you guys virtual high fives right there. Virtual fist pumps right there. You guys got it done. You just crushed your orange theory workout. Thank you so much for moving with me today. Moving for a great cause. Again, pedal the cause. I was here today specifically for my mom. Uh, she passed away in 2015 for breast cancer. Still trying to make her proud every single day. She's still with me and that's why I'm here with you guys today. I'm so passionate about this cause. In San Diego alone, cancer is the number one cause of death. So we're trying to help change that here. Raise over 13 million dollars throughout this entire program. But we're looking to continue that fight looking to advance everything in San Diego. We're trying to advance the efforts here to increase the cure or increase the capability to find a cure. Again, everything that's donated stays here in San Diego. So please continue to help out, continue to donate. We are here for an awesome cause. Again, my name is Coach James, coming to you live from the Point Loma Studio Orange Theory Fitness. Come find us in San Diego, somewhere close by. This workout is dedicated to my mom, Pam Dietler, an amazing human being. She lives an amazing life. So really, really happy that I was able to share that gift with you guys today and hope you guys have a wonderful workout and the rest of your day.